And welcome back to Tech Tuesday. I'm Steve Leahy. Thanks for joining me. Today's Tech Tuesday is a little bit more of a rant than anything else. Uh, something that's been popping up really as long as I've been doing art. Uh, I wanted to kind of address it and uh, give you my thoughts on it. So it's the idea of being a purist when it comes to what we do, uh, what tools we use, and how that can sometimes overshadow the art that it creates. So let me start by saying <clears throat> the obvious, that art is a personal thing. We all have what makes us happy about what we create. Uh, it gives us a sense of joy, a, sometimes a sense of purpose. Uh, it's, it's a voice, you know, all of those things. It's very, very personal. The issue, I believe, comes when you take that personal set of values and then project it on other people, especially people who are new who are getting into it. Uh, and specifically what I'll use for an example is um, the idea of uh, airbrushing and freehand versus using templates and shields. So this can be applied anywhere uh, along not only art but, but in a lot of different ways. So what we're going to do is let's switch to this painting here uh, that, I, that I just did for um, the 543 giveaway that we do each week on, on the Facebook live feed. So this painting is of a 1960s, well, Oakland Raiders uh, logo. And anyway, so this is their original logo. This is a suggestion uh, by uh, Wayne Capuroso. And uh, so I decided to do this painting. So the reason why I'm showing this painting is because it's a very clean graphic logo type piece of art. To do this with an airbrush, there are easier ways to do it. And uh, let me show you the, the method that I use a lot with, with a lot of these paintings. If you're familiar with the way that I do my work, I will make a photocopy of whatever it is that I'm trying to paint. And then I'll end up doing a lot of basically pre-cut custom stencils. So in this case, this is the black, some of the black anyway. And I'll just spray in, spray in the bits and pieces and then kind of connect the dots. And there's cutouts for everything here, the, the helmet part of it and the rest of his eyes, the yellow, that kind of thing. So these aren't adhesive or anything. They I just hold them in place really tightly with magnets and that's what kind of keeps it clean. So the reason why I'm showing all this is because this is one method to do this. It's not the easiest method by far, but I'm doing all these paintings all in a row. I do five of them every week. I just kind of keep it the same style of workflow, uh, and that, that works for me. But if I used a plotter for this, uh, a plotter would be just take this image, bring it into a vector program, turn it into line art, essentially, and then the plotter will cut out the masks that I need, all of them, really perfectly, quickly, and cleanly, and I can make as many as I want. Then I just put that adhesive mask over and then pull out the bits and pieces that, that I need and it's done. It would have taken a lot less time. This, this guy here has, has a certain cool story behind it now because it wasn't done that way. It doesn't make it better than if it was done with a plotter and that's I think my point with all of this. In airbrushing there is a moment where it becomes a cool story if if you say you do only freehand work. So what that means is if I were to just do this whole painting without any use of any stencils at all, uh, no paintbrush or anything, if I did it only with the airbrush and I was able to come out with that same image, that's difficult to do and it makes a really neat story. It doesn't make that final piece of art any better or worse, really, if you have exactly the same paintings. It just, one was harder to get to than another, which if you're an artist and you're process driven like I am, you do find value in that. You say, wow, that's a really neat thing that that was done in a way that's much more difficult than technology would help us with. So that's all fine. If, if you, if you want to do things in a way that, that your value is added because of the level of difficulty, that's perfect. My issue is when that is passed on to someone who is new, who is learning, if you then turn around to a new airbrusher and say, yes, freehand airbrushing is the only way to go. Uh, you're cheating if you use anything else, templates or paintbrushes or whatever. You set that person up for, a, for a, a really difficult time. Not to say that learning how to airbrush without any stencils or paintbrushes is not important. It's very important, but it shouldn't be the final determination of the artwork. 
if that's what you're going for. If you're looking for the artwork and not necessarily the process driven part of it, then, then that's, that's something to really, really keep in mind. The other, other analogy I use for this is uh, the house building thing. So you have two people, one has a full set of tools, the other only has a screwdriver. They build exactly the same house. I mean, if you didn't know, you wouldn't know. They're exactly the same house, but at the end of the day, if someone says, yes, I built this entire house with only a screwdriver, no saw, no hammer, I use a screwdriver for everything, you'd be like, that is incredible. Does it make the house worth any more? Probably not. It probably took a lot longer to build, it was way more difficult, but yet it's a cool story. So that's the way I kind of give that analogy for that kind of thing. So the moral of today's story, the moral of today's Tech Tuesday is be very proud of what you do. If, if working in a certain way gives you pleasure and fulfills the need in your artwork, go for it. But be very careful as you pass the, that type of information on to others who are learning. There are many ways to get things done and uh, whatever works best for you is, is, is the way to go. But again, be really careful with what you pass on. And if you're learning, be very careful about what you're listening to. If a method doesn't add any value to what you're painting or what you're working on, then don't feel bad about moving on and, and finding a new way to do it. Uh, it's, it's, just, it's just the way we work. So there you go. So that is your Tech Tuesday rant. Hopefully that makes sense and um, you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. Click that bell icon for more content and uh, we'll keep you notified of what's going on. And for Steve Leahy and Tech Tuesday, you guys are the best and I will um, catch you the next time.